Hey guys, it is Tanya and welcome back to the channel. Today we are back with a little bit of new information about the Sims 4 Parenthood game pack because today there was a live broadcast on the Sims Twitch channel. Uh, I, if I remember to, I will put a link in the description down below if you want to watch the full stream. But this is basically just going to be a recap of the important things that we found out because I'm excited. I want to rant about it. And if you don't have time to watch the full hour, some odd long broadcast, this will just get you the main tips, uh, not main bits, I guess, of what we learned in the broadcast. If you didn't already know, this game pack is coming out on May 30th, which is this upcoming Tuesday. I'm really excited. I'm assuming you guys are too if you like a uh, more family-based gameplay. Let me know in the description down below if you guys are excited. But the very first thing that I wanted to point out, which we didn't learn until like the end of the broadcast, is that there's a new aspiration that comes with this game pack, which is called the super parent, which basically enables your sim to go through the various uh, stages of the aspiration, starting off as a not so experienced parent, and they learn it along the way. And there's actually 10 levels to the parenting skill. Uh, so if you're looking to just explore all the new features in this pack, uh, I would advise maybe your young adult or adult sim gets the super parent aspiration to start. I think it'll help you in your uh, adventure to becoming the best parent ever. Additionally, with this uh, parenting aspiration, the super parent, once you get to that level, uh, max out, you can actually kind of go into like basically a super parent mode where the you can get everything done. Your needs don't really matter. You're not going to stop because you're uncomfortable or you're hungry or whatever. It's really the kids come first. And I thought that was really interesting and kind of realistic. This wouldn't be a parenthood pack without teen mood swings, am I right? Uh, speaking of that, uh, teens can get quite a variety of mood swings, and when they're in one of those mood swings, they have a very silly walk style to go with it, which we actually saw in the trailer, but we saw it again in the live stream today. I'm really excited about that. And we also got to see that kids have their own variety on that. Instead of um, having mood swings, what they have is um, phases. So your kid might go through a loud phase or mean streak, or they might be a picky eater for a while. Unfortunately, in real life, you don't necessarily grow out of that. I know I never <laughs> did. Uh, so they might not want what you're having for dinner. They might be disgusted by it. Um, what safe foods for them are usually like spaghetti or macaroni and cheese. Um, I feel like maybe like chicken nuggets or something. I don't know if you can make those for other than for toddlers on the high chair, but I feel like that would be a safe food too because most kids are okay with that. Now that we're talking about food, we also gained the ability to send packed lunches and set the table. So for meals, you can set the table and your sims are more apt to sit there and eat dinner with their families uh, instead of going and like watching in front of the TV or whatnot. If the table is set, that also helps with their uh, increasing their manners which is one of the various character values that your sims can earn, which we'll talk about in a moment. But uh, we can set the table now, and you can also pack any food for your sims to bring to school or work. Those packed lunches do go bad after a point in, of time, just like regular food would. Uh, and you can put them in the fridge to make them last longer. And I believe we can pack, like, classic lunches. That's just not any food, like peanut butter and jelly and tuna fish sandwiches as well that are more, like, kid-friendly foods. So that's definitely great. There are loads of new objects in this game. And, like, I don't even know where to start with that. But there is, like, a, uh, what would you call it? A bulletin board that goes on the wall that you can hang pictures on. Or uh, there's a couple different options on it. But it's mainly used to set a curfew for the house, which can be either 7 p.m., 9 p.m., or 11 p.m. And it'll indicate whether it's before, close to, or after curfew. <laughs> and you don't want to be caught out after curfew. So your, your sims are going to want to make sure they don't leave after that. Your children and teenagers. And also, if they're off lot, they should get a notification saying that they should return home. But other than that, which is really awesome, we also have a bunch of uh, school projects that we get and an activity table at home. And a cute teddy bear toy that you can, like, play doctor with. Oh, there's so many things. But we have an activity table, which you can create various things like castles and houses and barns with uh, your family members. And then there's the school projects. You can bring home a variety of things. You can destroy your siblings. Sibling rival rivalries are definitely a thing in this pack. Or you can, like, work with your family and, like, create a really cool rocket. Um, and kids have this 
a teddy bear that they can kind of pretend to be a doctor on. Like, they have a little stethoscope, and it's just really cute. You can play doctor with your teddy bears. Okay, so basically the biggest thing that we get with this pack is something called character values. So as your sims are aging up, your toddlers, your children, your teenagers, uh, as they do certain activities, like if they're learning good manners or maybe they're making lots of messes and getting in lots of trouble, sneaking out after curfew, all of those things are going to impact their character values, which are manners, responsibility, conflict resolution, empathy, and emotional control. So... <laughs> They, they might get, like, lots of negative responsibility if they're sneaking out after curfew, and uh, these all of these different values can go up and down throughout their childhood and adolescence, and depending on their positives and negatives, they are these are going to impact them for the rest of their lives. So when you age up to a young adult, you're going to get a new tra trait based on the character values you had growing up. So, like, uh, one of the sims that we, that was one of the parents had the insensitive trait because growing up they didn't have, um, enough, enough empathy or one of them had bad manners because, and he can actually encourage, uh, his daughter to fart because he thinks it's funny. Uh, so it definitely impacts our sims in the long run and I think it's a really cool addition to the game and it's gonna offer a lot of new gameplay options. Another cool part of this whole parenting skill and our ability to gain character values is we occasionally will get pop-ups that ask questions about like something a kid is asking a parent and you get to take that opportunity to choose what kind of parent you want to be uh, and depending on you how you answer those questions will impact how that child develops in their character values. Uh, so if they want to know if they can be grown up right now like, can you treat them like an adult? You, you can decide how you want to answer that and therefore impact your child in that way. So let's step back a little bit, back to the mood swings your teenagers can have. And I guess your kids could do this too. But basically, uh, in order to keep your emotions in control, one of the things your sims can do is write in their journal. And the cool thing about these journals is they're kind of supposed to be secret, like most kids do. And so you're able to hide them in your bed. And you'd think that, you know, nobody's going to look there, but you know what? Everyone hides their journal in their bed. So you can actually uh, go find your sibling's journal and snoop through it and, you know, get into a little bit of an argument over it, actually. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to address is how you can go ahead and reprimand your children for doing things uh, they're not supposed to be doing or praise them uh, for doing things that they are supposed to be doing. There's a whole intricate way of, uh, I guess raising your children. You can be calm or strict or fun, and there's different uh, options you have for dealing with various situations your kids might get into, from your toddler making a mess with chocolate syrup and milk all over the floor to your teenager sneaking out, or, you know, you're just kids are fighting. You can deal with that in various ways, and your options actually increase as your parenting skill does as well, so there's a lot of different ways you can do that, but the thing that I thought was coolest uh, about this is that there's a lot of different ways you can ground your kids. It's not just grounded, oh, you can't leave the house like we had in The Sims 3. You can ground from leaving the house, or you can ground from toys, or your computer, or your phone. Like, there's a bunch of different options, which I'm sure you can see on screen right now, but um, I think that's really cool, and actually the way your kids are raised in impacts the relationship they have with their parents and siblings. Like, you might be best friends with your siblings, or maybe it's going to be daddy dearest, like, you guys are, like, really tight. I think it's a really amazing addition to this game. Uh, I'm really excited for this stuff, uh, game pack. I think it's going to add so much gameplay and I can't wait for Tuesday to come. So I think that's all I have. Yeah, I think so. I mean, there was lots of creative sim stuff, but you can kind of see that throughout the gameplay. Uh, there's a couple new hairstyles that are really nice and lots of new clothing. Uh, but you can kind of see that in the gameplay, so I figured we wouldn't touch on that now. But I'm sure I will when the game pack actually comes out. But anyway, I think that's all I have for you guys for today. Uh, please let me know what you're thinking about this game pack in the description down below. I am so pumped. Like, <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but like, the second this comes out, I'm getting it and I'm gonna play. And like, I have work, so... Let's, well, we're gonna figure out how that works. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for new Sims content every day of the week, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.